Hi and welcome to this series of videos on static timing analysis concepts. In this video, we will try to understand the concept of clock reconversions pessimism removal, also called as CRPR. So without wasting time, let's get started with the topic. Before going to CRPR, we will try to understand uh, the term D-rate. What does this D-rate mean? So D-rating is a technique uh, that is used to modify the delay or slew computation performed by STA tools. So what happens is uh, the computation tool uh, actually calculates the delay based on the capacitance and resistance values. But on top of that, uh, due to different conditions and environments, such as the on-chip variations and PVT corners, it may not may have to be modified in such a way that it will adjust to those conditions or derate it uh, again, right? So this is kind of a modeling technique. Since we have to include those uh, variations into our um, analysis, we have to make it uh, much more worse than what the values are actually. So different derates are used for uh, different paths or for the same path, with different uh, for a different corner different d-rates may be used for example for set of uh, corner we may use um, a higher uh, d-rate than that of the hold corner for example i have uh, shown this uh, in here where a delay times 0 0.9 will reduce the delay and re reducing delay when we will do that because reducing delay will uh, will be bad for what it is bad bad for hold analysis right hold check and um, the increasing delay, which is delay times 1.1, stand percent increase, will we will do it only for the setup analysis. So this is how we do it based on the environment. So our term uh, mainly is CRPR, clock reconvergence pessimism remo uh, removal. We know what is clock, but what is clock reconvergence? See, uh, the reconvergence is a term uh, which refers to the path where the clocks actually meet. Which are the clocks which we are talking about? If we consider a reg to reg path, uh, we have a launch flip flop and capture flip flop. Both are driven by clocks. So, both of those clocks, uh, we call them as a launch clock and the capture clock. The path or uh, the common path of the meeting of those launch clock and capture clock is basically uh, basically called as uh, clock reconvergence okay and uh, what is the term pessimism okay so the pessimism basically refers to a uh, kind of negativity right what do we mean by negativity because uh, in this crpr we need to understand what pessimism uh, refers to right so what it says is the results uh, are actually worse than what they are actually right that is what it is which, which means uh, we may get some result but that result um, it is actually worse it is not really that worse but because of some because of some problem we got a bad result this is this is not actually correct because the uh, actual result is better one so in that case we call it as pessimism but when we call it as optimism when we say the tool is optimistic when actually the results should be bad but our result is good okay that is really worst but still we, pessimism also has to be uh, removed so that's what we are going to discuss now how to remove uh, the clock reconvergence pessimism so let's understand what is clock reconvergence pessimism so if launch clock and capture clock share the common path Okay, so this is the common path as you can see in this figure. The launch clock is this one and the capture clock is this one. So both of them are sharing common path only here in this place where there is a square box. The delay difference in common path due to the usage of different D rates. So there will be delay differences in the common path. That's because for this path which is this uh, data path the, or the launch path we will use one d rate and for the capture path we will use another d rate so because of these there will be a difference between the delay used in this path in this common path for both the analysis this will add additional pessimis pessimism 
to both setup and hold analysis because both setup and hold analysis will take care of uh, take this delay um, to compute the slack basically right so let's understand how it is uh, impacting so we know that slack is basically the required arrival time minus actual arrival time right so how do we calculate actual arrival time actual arrival time is basically uh, the data how how it propagates here the total delay in this path basically to the total delays in this path is basically the delay in uh, of b1 the cell b1 and the delay from clock to q which is delay of uh, flip flop one plus the delay of this uh, b2 okay so uh, tb1 plus tff plus tb2 but we are derating it by the launch path derate okay the launch path derate let's say it is 1.1 we do that because we are doing setup analysis now for example so in this case yeah we can we have i have just uh, multiplied to each of them 1.1 1.1 1.1 we get 2.035 this value and finally we'll get 5.522 uh, whatever so the uh, required arrival time is what required arrival time is actually um, the clock period plus tb1 which is tb1 is this itself and the tb3 and uh, minus the setup time if you consider clock period 4 plus 1.85 plus so i have multiplied this clock path d rate over here and minus the setup time of this is 0.3 so we will get 4 plus uh, 1.665 like this and then we will get 6.958 so we're getting 1.436 one thing you observed is the same path which is the tb1 the delay of the tb1 is uh, given as 2.035 here and 1.665 here so it's the same path is using two different delays for the same analysis this is the same uh, analysis but it is using different delays is it right actually not it should not happen that way so how do we uh, solve that we solve that by using the additional term called crp this happens in the tool itself the crp is a term which is used as clock rec uh, reconvergence pessimism it will be added here which is the difference between uh, 2.03 the actual uh, the difference between these two 2.035 and 1.665 which is actually the difference of delays between these two because of the d rates that value will be added to uh, the required arrival time so that it becomes um, actually if you actually add 0 0.37 to this value you will get that value so that uh, it becomes 7.328 uh, then if you subtract you will see that the value is actually 1.806 the slack is actually this positive it is this much 1.806 but it was shown as 1.436 let's say it was actually 0.4 the slack was actually 0.4 here then it would have shown this slack is negative then the person would have tried to fix this you know even though the slack was actually positive then uh, the uh, the person would have tried to over fix this and got would have got some other problem so that's the reason why it is called as pessimism so it is removed by this technique so this is the topic of clock reconvergence um, pessimism removal Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next video and bye-bye.